Hey guys, what's up? I'm Will Patterson and this is my new playlist, if you haven't seen already, all about my thoughts. I try to air out my thoughts every once in a while on this channel, but I'm making it a weekly occurrence now just to sort of like give you guys what I want to talk about because sometimes when your channel is all about this one topic, for me it's like sort of design, it's hard to sort of explain more about what I do and my thoughts and you know, I don't want to just waste this time on YouTube and stuff, just talking about, you know, logo design, even though you love it, but I want to talk about other things. And one of those things I want to talk about is Drama Alert. If you don't know, Drama Alert is a YouTube channel with a guy called Keemstar, who's a really uh, funny guy that I love to watch sometimes, uh, talking about the drama or the news behind YouTube celebrities or people on YouTube. Uh, and basically, they always expose people. And it's, you know, it's entertaining, addictive to watch. For me, it's sort of like watching Jeremy Kyle. You know, you watch it sometimes, but you don't let on like you watch it. You don't want people to know that you watch that sort of thing. But people are absolutely loving Drama Alert. They've uh, grown massively. And it's just one of those things that I've been thinking about lately, about the negativity that we as humans are attracted to. By no means am I dissing Drama Alert specifically in this video. I'm not dissing anyone. Uh, I'm dissing the sort of idea behind negative news because that's what sells. The first time I watched Drama Alert was like a few months ago and they've just below a million subscribers. I think there are like 700,000 subscribers. Can't remember what was going on, but they were talking about a bunch of Minecraft YouTubers, um, and them being sort of like criminals, sexual criminals, and you know, it was all awful and stuff. And it really opened my eyes up to uh, this new idea of news and media that is happening online. Not only are like people like me and other vloggers and YouTubers out there creating a living or making a living of this new form of media, but there is actually now a chance and an opportunity to create a news team on YouTube, which is Drama Alert. And seeing some of those shocking stories really helped me understand that, you know, Drama Alert is there and it's people are watching it and they are staying in the loop with what's going on on YouTube. Now, hence the name Drama Alert, people love drama and people will flock to drama, and I don't know why that is, but it's something to do with humanity, that, you know, people want to know what's wrong with something, they're always trying to work out what's wrong, they're always of this negative disposition when looking at different things, you know, I don't know what that is, that's including myself, but that's just what, what we do as a world, that we just look at negativity. Now, the question is, is drama alert a good thing or a bad thing? I'm gonna lay out some of the pros and cons of drama alert, uh, just to get it right in my head. So the pros that I can see of Drama Alert is it keeps people's feet close to the fire when it comes to YouTube. I guess it's spreading awareness about sexual assault and victims of that. And it's also spreading awareness of everything that's going on in YouTube where people are getting exposed. It's also very entertaining sometimes, especially when they have those arguments on there. I love them, I'm crying with laughter when I'm hearing it. And you know, I don't think many older people will get it because it's just so funny and so, you know, just so new. And it also, number three, the third good point is that it keeps us in the loop with what's happening on YouTube, especially with the gaming community on YouTube where uh, they sort of all flock together. It's created a cool community of people that are now aware of what is going on on YouTube and they're not standing for things that are being kept a secret anymore. Now, some of the negative points about drama alert or probably journalism in general is, you know, one, there is a chance of to be accused is to be convicted. And by that, I mean, uh, there has been a time on drama alert when they have said they haven't done their research properly or when someone just went out with this story saying they got all the factual evidence saying that this dude was a pedophile or whatever. And then from there, they put out a drama alert to 800,000 people and they all flooded this dude on Twitch and, you know, said some horrible, mean comments. I must say the guy who sort of hosts drama alert, Keemstar, he did apologize for it and he made things right with the dude and everything is apparently okay now. But the fact that that can happen is so scary because there will still be people out there now that will assume that person with the name that they gave him on Drama Alert. Another negative point about Drama Alert 
is the bandwagon culture that we have online. As soon as one person doesn't like a YouTuber and you know, if Drama Alert gets onto this and they sort of create drama, then more people are gonna be creating more drama on YouTube just to get views, likes and stuff like that. You've probably seen it where people or YouTubers uh, are not even commenting just to air their thoughts or opinions, but they're, they're creating drama on their platforms just for the publicity. And I think Drama Alert is, you know, is very clever in doing that. I think it's hilarious. I don't think it's very good for the community in general. So my opinions on Drama Alert, you know, it's fun and entertaining to watch. I don't watch it all the time. Do I think it's wrong? No. Do I think they can do things better? Yes, um, like everyone else on YouTube. You know, I think it's more of entertaining. It's all about the news and it's keeping people in the loop. And it's obviously, I think, got the, the, the run of helping the community by exposing people. I don't know why they keep exposing people. You know, I'm not gonna be negative about Drama Alert at all. You know, I think that the guys over Drama Alert are doing a good job at, you know, taking stories and bringing a new type of news media to people. You know, it'll be interesting to see where they are in a year's time. I will have a new video for you up next week all about what is in my sketchbook, which you guys are gonna love. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you next week. See you later.